Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Today's video, I put a compilation together of all of my favorite decoupage projects. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this first one was a Mother's Day uh, video I did a couple of years ago and um, my mom has passed so I made these for myself so I took two mason jars and I took two pictures um, one of my two boys my favorite picture of my two boys when they were little and um, a picture of me with my to step children so here we go so i am i put a bunch of mod podge on the glass and i just let it dry and now i'm just taking some browns um, to try to make the covers look a little more worn and rusted and now i'm just ripping the paper around the picture and I am going to just lay that down with some more Mod Podge. I didn't want the glass to be clear, um, so that's why I did that first layer of Mod Podge. Um, and I kind of aged the edge a little bit, um, but I did um, intentionally print these pictures out in black and white. So this is the one of my two boys and I am going to repeat the same process for my two step kits. And now I'm just doing a last minute touch up on the covers and once they're dry, I am, or while they're drying, I should say, I am just covering the whole entire jar with another coat of Mod Podge to seal in the pictures and then I want it to be cohesive so hence the second layer. <laughs> so now I'm taking this jute cording that I love from Amazon and of course because hot glue and glass are not friends I also use some super glue and I am just going to wrap it around the top of the glass um, just to give it a little added detail and again I'm going to do that to both jars and then I have these uh, paper flowers that I got from Hobby Lobby and that's it for these I think they're so adorable I love these so much and I love these kids so much let me know what you guys think of these So for this next project, I have a set of three of these gift boxes from the Dollar Tree. I painted them in plaster, I believe, or it could have been white. Then I have these Tim Holtz um, decoupage papers. Um, I got them from hmm, Hobby Lobby too, I believe. Oh no, I, I lied. I got them from Amazon. <laughs> And they should be in my store, which is linked in my description box down below. So I'm just uh, cutting out the paper for the inside. I didn't bother painting the inside because you're really not going to see them. I just wanted the paper to be there so that it all matched. Then I'm just going to start tearing bits and pieces of the paper and I am going to decoupage them all around the outside of all three of the boxes. Look 
once they're all Mod Podge down, I do go over with a chippy brush and kind of distress it a little bit with the antique wax and uh, wipe it down with the wipe. And then I'm gonna do the same process with these. Um, they're little wood pieces. They look like um, the, what am I trying to say? The thread spools. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, so once those are done, I have those stickers from the Dollar Tree and they kind of look like a gemstone. So I put those on the ends of the spools, which covers the hole. Then I got these little feet from Amazon. They're a little like brass feet. Um, so I'm just going to hot glue them to the bottom of all of the boxes. And then I'm going to take this ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go all around the top of all three boxes. Once I got all the ribbon tacked down, I did add a totally dazzled jewel on the front of each. But that's it for these. I think they're so beautiful. Let me know what you guys think of these. So this next one is a thrift flip. I got this um, shelf drawer unit from uh, Goodwill. Comes with two drawers. So once I got everything all cleaned up and looking pretty decent, I'm gonna take this Rust-Oleum um, chalk paint. I believe it's called Coastal Blue, but I will put the links or I'll put the colors at least in my description box and I'm going to paint the inside of the drawers as well as uh, the flat surface on there there you see <laughs> and up the side with this blue and then I take the gray I think it's called aged gray and I am doing the rest of this piece in that gray color. Then I found this really pretty tissue paper. So I was going to just like cover the back of this, but I figured it would be too much and end up being too wrinkly and stuff. So I decided to kind of piece it together. So I just started tearing pieces and Mod Podging them on to the various places on this shelf drawer thing. Now that little thing I just showed you is a roller. It's a decoupage roller, I guess, to get out any bubbles or wrinkles. Um, it works okay. Uh, but nothing is better than the iron or the sponge method. <laughs> Completely, oh baby, it's crazy. It's the cause 
So once I got all the Mod Podge on, um, I just replaced the knobs and that's it for this one. I think it's so beautiful. It's still on my table um, in my entryway and I think it's still beautiful. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Okay, this next one, I got this um, palette sign thing at Target. This was a long time ago. And I am just going to go over the entire thing with the white Waverly chalk paint. And then I am going to take this beautiful picture of the American flag with the bald eagle. And what I did was I traced it from behind and then I cut the strips so that the picture kind of met up but didn't overhang the, um, the spaces in between the slats. So here it is. I think it's so gorgeous. So now I'm taking this red and white Baker's Twine from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to weave it in and out of the slats and then I'm going to tie a knot in the back and then I just add a little hot glue just to secure it in place. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Once that's done, I'm going to take the blue and white twine and just wrap it around my finger a bunch of times. And then I am going to take um, the ends and I'm just gonna kind of wrap them around themselves. And then I just tie a knot in the back. I did the same process with the red and white twine and I am just going to hot glue them on the corner of this beautiful eagle sign. I absolutely love it. Then I'm just taking some antique wax and I just kind of brushed around the edges and over the picture a bit just to dirty it up a little. So I think it's beautiful. Let me know what you guys think of this one. So this next one, I got this wood blank at uh, Target. They were in their craft section, not the dollar spot. Um, so I am taking the antique wax and going over the piece. And then I'm gonna take some of the white Waverly chalk paint and do a very light dry brushing. And then I have this picture of a beautiful apple tree and I just tore the edges because I don't like the sharp edges and I mod podged it into place and then I replaced the uh, original hanger. Then I'm gonna take the jute twine from the Dollar Tree. This is the one from the automotive section and I'm just going to hot glue it to the back and wrap it around the sign a couple times and then hot glue it to the back. <laughs> and I do that on the top and the bottom of this sign. Then I'm gonna take that twine again and I am going to wrap it around my finger and then I tie it around itself and tie a knot. And I'm just gonna add that to the center at the top. And that's really all there is for this one. I think it's so simple, but I think that tree was so pretty and I just really wanted to use it in one of my projects. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. So this next project, I got a sign from, um, oh my good grief, Goodwill. <laughs> And I sanded it down and then I painted it with two coats of the plaster chalk paint. Then I got this beautiful 
rice paper from my Victorian heart. I always have her information linked down below in case you want to go check her out. She has beautiful like rice paper. She has rub-on transfers. She has molds, all the IOD stuff. Like she just has everything and she is a total sweetheart. So um, again, her information is in my description box down below. So head on over and check out her website. You're going to love it, I promise. So I'm just going to uh, use my Mod Podge and I'm just going to Mod Podge this beautiful paper to this sign. And the thing is with rice paper, it's not like a tissue paper or a napkin. It's a little bit thicker, so the Mod Podge doesn't create as many wrinkles. Now, I wouldn't suggest that you like glob it on, but you don't have to do a real thin, thin coat. So um, I just kind of roughed up the edges there when I was done and then took some antique wax and dry brushed it on and then put another layer of Mod Podge. And that's it for this one. It doesn't need anything else, I don't think. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Let me know what you think. So this next project I got at the Goodwill as well and used the same plaster chalk paint to paint it. It's one of those like letter holders. Anyway, I have this tissue paper and I am just going to cover just the face, like the front face of the three um, little pockets, if you will. Uh, yeah, with this, it's a beautiful, like lacy um, tissue paper. Anyway, I think it was really pretty and I wanted to use it for this project, so I did. <laughs> Anyhow, so then I um, decided to rough up the edges just a tad and then I filled it with a bunch of tulips and some thistles or berries, whatever they call them, but I think it came out really sweet. I really like this one. Let me know what you think. So these next two, I have some bird houses from Michael's. I used agave and I believe it was moss for the other one. And I painted the whole thing. And now I'm taking this beautiful Stempera, I believe it's called, um, paper and it's scrapbook paper. And I'm just cutting it into strips that are the same width as the slats on the edges of the birdhouse right there. <laughs> and then I took my plaster chalk paint and I went around the like rim of everything just to give it a little more interest. And once I have the pieces that I needed for the edges, I did all of them except for the one with the circle for in the little perch now i did get this idea from brie over at brie's arts i will make sure that her channel is linked in my description box she's amazing you have to go check her out if you don't know who she is and quite honestly i can't imagine you don't know but anyhow <laughs> go see her if you haven't already so I'm just Mod Podging these pieces of paper to the edge and then I am taking that lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to make like a little, I don't know, like an awning, if you will. I don't, I don't know what else to call it. So uh, all the way around the top part of this birdhouse.
So then I have these butterflies I got off of Amazon. They're really, really pretty. Um, so I am going to just hot glue one on top of the birdhouse. And then I have a ton of rub-on transfers that I also got from Amazon. All of the stuff that I say is from Amazon will be in my store front in my description box so just click on that link and then you know look like if you're looking for the paper you might want to look under decoupage um i don't remember what i named all the folders but anyways uh you'll find them just keep looking <laughs> if you can't let me know and i will try to send you the link so once i get the rub-on transfers that i want here I am putting my butterfly on the top. I think it's so, so cute. Look at that. I just think it's too stinking adorable. And now I'm just going to repeat the same process with some different rub-on transfers. And these, wow. Well, they're not completely done yet, but they will be shortly. <laughs> so there's all the paper for that one. Then I take these two candle stick holder, candle holder sticks, uh, candle holders. I don't know what they're called. And I use some of that cemental and some hot glue. And I just attach them to the bottom of the birdhouses. And that's it for these. I love these two birdhouses. By the way, that green one is um, not moss. It's, um, oh my God, celery. That's it. It's celery. And then I used moss on the edge uh, where the plaster is on this one. But there you go. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Okay, so I have these MDF shapes that I got from Michaels. They came in a pack of like eight, and there's like two of each design. Now, I messed up and took two different designs, so a total of three different designs, but in the end, I think it came out beautiful anyway. So I have more of that Stempera paper and I am cutting it out and tearing the edges. And then I am taking some of this ink. I got all these ink pads off of Amazon as well. There's a ton of different colors. They're not like super high quality, but they get the job done. So anyway, um, just going around all of the edges to kind of make them look a little uh, older, a little weathered. And then once that's done, I'm going to put those aside to dry while I work on these pieces. I'm using, I believe it's called Italian Sage. And then after doing two coats of that, I went over with the plaster chalk paint with a pretty heavy dry brushing. And then I am going to just take, I didn't use Mod Podge, I used a glue stick. I don't know if that counts as decoupaging or not, but <laughs> anyway, that's what I did. And I added it to this playlist. So pardon me if it's not, but I kind of lumped it in. So anyways, I just did that with all four and that's it. I didn't think it needed anything more, but I think they came out so beautiful. I love them. They'd be great in a tiered tray or you could even like attach them to a bigger sign or you could hang them separately. They're not super big, but I think they're gorgeous. Let me know what you guys think.
Okay, for this next one, I have one of these chargers from the Dollar Tree, and I am taking some, I, I honestly mixed a bunch of colors, so, but I what I was trying to do was make it look like a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I succeeded or not, but anyway. Um, and then I had this image from um, just Google and I printed it out and I just cut the circle out. And then I dry brushed over everything with some of the plaster chalk paint. Then I have that lace ribbon stuff. It looks like netting from the Dollar Tree and some of that thin green ribbon with no wires. And I just made a bow and that's it for this one. By the time I finished talking, there was no, yeah, I, I talked too much, I guess. Uh, but anyways, let me know what you guys think of that one. Now this sign I got from Goodwill as well, and I am sanding this one as well. And then I just wipe it down good and move on with the process. This came out so beautiful, I love this one. So I took the white Waverly chalk paint and I did two coats and then I found this shabby chic paper from my Victorian heart and I just thought it was perfect for this one. I actually think I did a, a collab with Leany for the uh, crafting with Leany and yeah that's hence the shabby chic you know Leany is all shabby. <laughs> She's amazing at it. So anyway um, I am just Mod Podging this piece of paper to this board and I did it kind of lower on the board um, because I wanted to put a very big statement piece, bow piece up at the top. <laughs> so I started out with this like burlap stuff and I'm like that is not shabby chic. So then I remembered I had this bag of lace ribbon from Goodwill so I just cut up a bunch of pieces and I made this beautiful like messy bow for this piece and I put it right in the center on the top I added um, one of the roses and some totally dazzled dazzled uh, pieces <laughs> Um, oh my good grief. I put one right in the center of the rose. I thought that was very ingenious. <laughs> but anyway, and then I have some of these um, leaves and I just kind of tucked them under the bow. But I thought it was so beautiful. I love this piece so, so much. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Okay, for this next one, I have these treasure chests from um, Hobby Lobby and I am going to give that well I'm going to take them all apart first <laughs> and then I'm going to give them a good paint job. I'm using the color Merlot from Waverly and it's so pretty it's like a cranberry color it's gorgeous. Then I have these napkins and I got them at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to use the floral portion to cover the top of all of these treasure chests. And as you can see, I am using Brandy's method, Brandy from the DIY Struggle. She uses that sponge. It literally takes out the wrinkles. I don't know how it works. But it does make sure your sponge is dry um, when you're doing this but it works trust me it's amazing so yeah I'm doing this with the other two I'm not gonna show you all of this <laughs> once everything's dry I'm just gonna go around with my finger sander and take off the excess now I'm not sure if there were wrinkles. This had, I did this a while ago. I'm not sure that there were wrinkles. Maybe there were a couple. Um, 
So I took out my little iron and I just used some parchment paper and went over just to, I guess, assure that everything was flat. And then I just added the hardware back on and that's it for these. Oh, I guess I dry brushed with some white or something, but anyway, that's it. I think they're adorable. Let me know what you think. For this next project, I'm using my Nantucket Blue from Folk Art, and I got these wooden, like, succulent holders, I think, from Hobby Lobby. And I am just going to Mod Podge these beautiful napkins from the Dollar Tree right to the front face of these boxes. Once everything's done, I'm taking my finger sander and just taking off the excess um, napkin. Now I was going to add some shells to the front, but I thought, nah, I like it the way it is. So I just added some succulents and called it a day. Let me know what you think. I have another one of these palette signs from... Uh, target and I'm going to do the same process. I'm just going to cut strips out of this beautiful anchor picture and then I take that Nantucket blue and I cover the sign with the blue and then I again cut this into strips and I'm going to uh, Mod Podge them on to this sign. Once it's all down, I have one of these wooden laser cutout anchor things from the Dollar Tree. I used it I used the same Nantucket blue for it. And then that white stuff is supposed to be a coral. Or no, is it a coral? I don't know. I think it's supposed to be a coral. So anyways, I just cut a piece off. It's in the floral section. Um, right now they have like sparkly red, white, and blue ones. But this one was just plain old white. And so I cut it out. I added that behind the anchor and some small shells, and that's it for this one. I absolutely love this one. Let me know what you think. Now I have these sign, this sign, I'm sorry, from Goodwill. I used plaster chalk paint, two coats, and then this cherry pie recipe I got off of Google, and I just printed it out. And now I'm doing the same thing. I'm taking some of that ink to kind of brighten up the edge so it didn't blend in so much with the paint. And I'm taking a bunch of glue and I am adding that to the back and then adding some Mod Podge on top to seal everything in. Now, I didn't let the ink dry enough, so it did run a little, but I was okay with that because, I don't know, it just gave it a more, like, worn look. I don't know. I thought it looked good, so. And then I got these cherries. They came in a pack with, like, lemons and some um, plastic ice cubes. <laughs> so I got them from Amazon, and so I just glued a few on, and then I'm taking this... Uh, red checked ribbon from Michael's that I got on clearance. It was a Christmas ribbon and some green ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to tie them together. I do the awareness ribbon, cinch it in the center, and then I cover the twine with a piece of the ribbon. And that's it. Oh, I and a dovetailed the ends too. And there it is. I think it's adorable. Let me know what you think. So I have this vase I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance. And I use that Italian sage color. And then I have this napkin 
um, not sure where I got it, to be honest. It might have been from a napkin exchange, um, but I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. So I just cut a bunch of pieces, and I'm just going to add it to the vase kind of all over the place, actually. So... <laughs> Um, I'm not going to make you watch all of it, but I just wanted you to see some of the process. Once I have it covered the way I want it, I do a little bit of dry brushing with some of the plaster chalk paint and that's it. And I absolutely love this vase. I still have this vase in my living room. I think it's so beautiful. Let me know what you think. For this next one, I have a wood blank I got at Michael's. It's already painted white. So all I'm doing is I'm taking some water so that I can rip the edges of this napkin and I'm going to start adding it to that wood blank. I'm gonna cover the entire thing with that napkin and then I will move on to the next step. Now that it's covered and dried, I just went around with my finger sander to get all the excess napkin off. Then I have this Wish Upon a Starfish, which is part of that set, I think. Um, so I'm going, I dry brushed a little white on there so that it would stick out from the rest of the napkins. And then I just put it right on top with some Mod Podge. And I'm using that same coral stuff from the Dollar Tree. I do take some of the paint and I, I think it's the Dusk and the uh, Nautical Blue. And okay, I ended up going with the Dusk apparently. <laughs> So I'm just going to paint the starfish with the dusk and then I'm going to hot glue everything into place on the left hand bottom corner. And then I'm going to take some more of my shells from my local um, beach and I'm going to add them to this piece. Then I have these gorgeous ribbons I got from Hobby Lobby and I am just going to cut off two strips and I'm going to do the awareness ribbon, scrunch it in the center, uh, tie the, you know, twine around it, the whole thing to make a beautiful bow for this piece. And that's it for this one. I absolutely love this one. You'll have to let me know what you guys think. 
So for this next one, I found this magazine holder for $4 at Goodwill and I'm using night sky and dusk to paint it. And then I cut up the pieces of napkin from the last project and just kind of place it sporadically around. And that's it for this one. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, this next project, I have these two cathedral windows I got from Hobby Lobby on 90% clearance. So I painted them using mineral, uh, Waverly chalk paint. And then I found these two, um, oh my good grief, Bible verses. And I tore the edges and then rubbed with some of my ink pads. And now I'm just going to Mod Podge them onto the window. Then I'm just taking my brush and using that mineral chalk paint, just kind of dry brushing all over the place. And then I take the Mod Podge and seal it. Now I have these ribbons I got from Hobby Lobby. So beautiful. I'm sorry, it wasn't Hobby Lobby, it was Michael's. It was 90% clearance for Christmas and I love it. And then that like lace ribbon stuff from Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna use those two ribbons to make bows. So I just do the awareness ribbon, cinch it in the center, tie it with some twine in the back. And then I am just going to glue both of the bows to both of the cathedral windows. I think they came out so beautiful. I absolutely love them both. How absolutely stunning are these? I think they're amazing i was so pleased the way they came out let me know what you guys think of these okay this next one is humongous <laughs> okay it's huge there's no way i can get it all in the frame so i am taking the elephant chalk paint and i'm just doing the edge of the blank and then i am just taking some mod podge and I am going to adhere this uh, rice paper that I got from my Victorian heart. She is always in my description box. I absolutely love buying from her. She has some beautiful stuff. So I'm just, again, taking Mod Podge and I am just going to Mod Podge this whole paper onto this blank. Once that's done, I'm going to take this red and natural and blue and natural jute from the Dollar Tree and I kind of twist it together and then I'm just going to go around the inside of the frame to cover where the paper and the frame meet. Once that's done, I'm going to take this ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to cut off a couple strips. Actually, I think I just stick with one strip. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to do the awareness ribbon, cinch it in the center, tie it in the back, and then glue it to my picture. Oh, actually, you guys know me so i dovetail the ends and then i cover the jute 
in the center and now I'm going to glue it to the corner of the picture and then I'm just tacking the tails down so that they don't get in the way but I absolutely love this piece I think it's absolutely gorgeous let me know what you guys think Okay, for this next one, I have one of these rounds from the Dollar Tree and I just used some white uh, Waverly chalk paint and I just painted one coat. Then I'm gonna take my Mod Podge and this napkin also from the Dollar Tree and I am going to add the napkin to the top of the sign. Now I used the sponge method, but there were some wrinkles. So I decided once it dried to just use my little heat press and go over the whole thing just to get as many wrinkles out as possible. After I added the twine hanger back, I am going to take some of this ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to make myself a little bow to stick on this sign. <laughs> Once I hot glued that right by the hanger I have these little letters I got from Hobby Lobby they were on clearance I got them a long time ago and so I just kind of put them at a little bit of an angle uh, just to I don't know make it look a little fancier I guess or cuter whatever <laughs> and then I have this plastic lemon slice I got off of Amazon and I just hot glued that right in the center and that's oh I guess I do too <laughs> but I think that's it afterwards yeah that's all I did but I think it came out super super cute let me know what you guys think of this one For this next one I it's actually two <laughs> so I have more of the napkins from the Dollar Tree and two bamboo cutting boards also from the Dollar Tree now I'm just taking a wet um, paintbrush and I'm just kind of doing like squiggly lines to um, you know around the areas of the napkin that I want to uh, separate that I'm gonna use uh, so once I get that all peeled apart and take the extra um, layer off I'm going to Mod Podge it right to this cutting board Now I repeated the same process with this other napkin. I'm just gonna go over everything with the Mod Podge and then I iron the wrinkles out. 
Now, once that's done, I'm just gonna take a variety of paint colors and I'm going to try to like, I don't know. I was trying to blend things in, but I don't know how much I blended. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm just gonna let you watch the process, I guess. <laughs> So I added a little more interest, I guess, with these colors and then I went over with some of the lighter colors just to uh, tone down the color a little bit, I guess. But that's it. I added some feet um, to the bottom and I have two cute little summer risers. Let me know what you think. So I wanted to let you know I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. I also have a buy me a coffee link if you would like to support my channel monetarily. But either way, stop on by my social media and say hi. I'd love to hear from you. Now I have these signs from Hobby Lobby. They were on clearance. I took the plaster and did two good coats. Now I have this beautiful rice paper from my Victorian heart and I just uh, tore the edges of the rice paper. Now I started off with this antique wax going all over the entire sign and then when I kind of put them side by side like this I thought maybe I shouldn't have done that. So all I'm doing with this one is I'm gonna go around and just do the little beaded area like as you can see here and then I am going to uh, fix this one. <laughs> so they both just show the antique wax on the beaded area. Then I'm just gonna take my Mod Podge and I'm going to uh, glue down these beautiful pieces of paper to the center of these signs. And once they're all glued down, that's it. That's all I did with these. I think they're absolutely perfect just as they are. I absolutely love them. Let me know what you guys think. So now I have this sign I got from Goodwill and I used the plaster chalk paint to go over the sign. Now I have these little medallions. I believe I got them from Hobby Lobby and I am just taking the furniture marker from Dollar Tree and I'm going to just like stain these little medallions. And then once the paint dries on the sign, I have the wall stickers from Dollar Tree and I'm going to add that to the center of this sign. Now I know they're stickers, but I do eventually use Mod Podge to uh, cover it, to seal it. So I figured I would add this to my decoupage. I don't know, but 
Now I'm taking the wood glue and hot glue and I am gluing the medallions over that little indentation piece right there um, on both sides. So it kind of covers that up and that's why I didn't bother painting in there <laughs> either, so. Now I'm taking some of that silver rub and buff stuff and I am just gonna go all the way around the edge of this sign and then I do some of the inside of the medallion. Now I have these two adorable little birds. They're part of the IOD molds and I used some of that casting resin. Um, so once they were dry and you know hardened, I'm taking that same rub and buff and I'm doing the birds with the rub and buff. <laughs> and then I'm just going to glue them to the sign. And that's it for this one. I love how this piece came out. I love it so, so much. Let me know what you think. So for this next one, I found this little Adirondack chair at my, I don't know if it was Goodwill or a different thrift store, but Anyway, I found it at a thrift store <laughs> and so I'm taking it all apart and I'm going to unscrew the screws and then I'm going to take my agave uh, chalk paint from Waverly and I give the entire chair two good coats. Then I take the backing of the, the frame and I just paint it with some white paint and then I have that beautiful paper from my Victorian heart and I just tear the edges of the paper and then I go ahead and just like tear it into smaller pieces and then sort of piece it together on the back of the chair and I have more than one of these pages or pieces of the page so that's why I kind of tore it into pieces to piece it together. How many times can I say piece in this one little section of video? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to Mod Podge all of that onto the back of the frame. And then I go ahead and I paint the back of the back with the agave as well. And now I have one of the shells from one of the IOD molds that I used my um, casting resin in. And I just painted that with uh, sandstone, I believe, from Waverly. And I hot glued it to the back of the chair. And then I add the backing and all the hardware back onto the chair and yeah that's it for that part anyway then i have all of those um picks from the dollar tree the like coastal picks there you go and so i'm going to cut off a few pieces from the different picks and i'm going to hot glue them to the seat of the chair as you can see right here and I'm just going to keep adding like I added an, one of the shells at the bottom just to kind of cover where the glue was and then I had to add another shell because you could see where the hole was in the first shell but it all works out in the end and I think it comes out beautiful.
And here is the final project. I absolutely love this. It's on my coffee table as we speak. Let me know what you think. So I have that Stempera paper and I have one of the trays that I got from Amazon. It is a Woodpecker's Crafts product. I will have their uh, site down listed down below and my affiliate link if you're interested. So I measured out the paper to the sizes that I need and then I'm going to kind of dry fit it first and then I will take my uh, Mod Podge and fill it in. I painted the, um, the outside of the, oh my goodness, the tray with that sandstone um, before I added the paper. So, and now I'm just kind of using my iron just to, make sure that everything is adhered and nothing is going to pull up. Now I have this jute cording that I get from Amazon and I am going to go around the inside of the tray just to, it's two things. So it'll hide if the paper is too short at all and also will hold the paper down some. Then I'm just going to take that same cording and I'm going to go around the handle uh, just to give it a little more interest. And oh, and then I go around the edge, like the top edge of the tray itself as well with this same cording. Once that's all done, I'm going to take my lighter and get all of the little hairs off. And that's it for this one. I really think this is absolutely gorgeous. I love how the paper just all goes together and the pink color and the cording. It's just perfect. I love it. Let me know what you guys think. Now I have this um, wood blank I got off of Amazon. Came in like a six pack, I think. And then another piece of that Stampera paper. And I'm going to use my glue stick this time. And I'm just going to add the paper right to the top of this, um, yeah, wood blank. Thank you, yay, yay, yay. So then I'm just taking that roller and I'm just going over everything. And then once it dries, I am taking my finger sander and I'm just gonna go around the edges to get off all of the excess paper. Now, once that's done, I am going to take that same jute cording and I'm going around the outside edge of the, um, the blank and then I just burn off the fuzzies. Now I'm taking a piece of that same cording and I am going to hot glue it to the sides a little bit and then I'm going to go over the top with it. You'll, you'll see, I, I don't know if I can explain it right. So, <laughs> so it's glued to the side and the top of the blank and then um, the rest of it will just be for the hanger. Then I got some of these mini shells off of Amazon and I'm just going to add a few in various places on this sign and that's it for this one. I think it's so adorable. I love this paper so, so much. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, for this next one, I have 
these beautiful napkins from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to take some water and a paintbrush and I'm just going around the pieces that I want to take off of this napkin. Once that's done, I'm going to separate and get all of the extra plies off. Then I'm taking some Mod Podge and a uh, spaghetti sauce jar. <laughs> and I'm going to um, just add these pieces of the napkin just kind of in various spots on this jar. Now, once that's dry, I'm gonna take my finger and the Mod Podge and I'm just gonna swirl it around the jar and it gives it a frosted effect. So once that's dry, I'm gonna take the red and natural and blue and natural um, twine from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to wrap it around the top of the jar a few times and then make a cute little bow in the front. Then I'm going to take these fairy lights that I get off of Amazon and that's it. I think it's so adorable and I love the fact that the lights are like a blue, you know, for 4th of July and Memorial Day. Just very patriotic. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out with YouTube. It lets them know that you enjoy my content and then they will push it out for others to enjoy as well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me and I will see you next time.